Quiet and cool, all rise. Be seated, please, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Lepore, anything yeah. you wish to say on your own behalf, sir? Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to, um, to speak to the victim's family. Uh, we've done a lot of thinking over the last couple of months, and there's nothing I can really say to take away your pain. There's nothing I can do. But I just want you to know that I'm uh, terribly, terribly, uh, terribly sorry. I'm truly terribly sorry for your loss. Very proud. Mr. Ryan? Anything you wish to say on your own behalf, sir? I also, to the uh, victims and the victims' family, I couldn't even imagine what you've gone through over this time. And I know that you know, my words probably are good. Or I know that my words can't take any of that pain away, but I want you to know that I am very, very, very sorry for your losses. And my name is Paula Yano. Okay, I'm reading this. My husband wrote it. These seven years have been hard for my family and I. This tragedy has given me many obstacles to overcome. It wasn't for the great family and friends I have had me that I don't want to know. I can't, can't even read this. Do you want me to read it? Yeah. I see this every day. Every day I live with him having scars and having things to do with surgery and security. There's nothing to say. Frank Caltabloda Sr. Father of Frank Caldeploda Jr. Mr. Lapore and Mr. Ryan, I have waited seven years and one week to tell you both what I think of you and how your stupid prank got out of hand and has affected my family and myself. You both admitted to lighting the banner on fire that was draped across the couch in the third floor lounge, but neither one of you stated that after doing so, you both ran for your lives like the cowards you are. But Mr. Lapore and Mr. Ryan, eventually your judgment day will come from the highest court and you will both see a jury consisting of Frankie, Aaron, and John. And on that day, justice will be served for what the two of you have done. That judge will give you a final sentence, and it will be the maximum sentence, with no negotiations or plea agreements and no chance for parole. And on that day, that sentence, Mr. Lepore and Mr. Ryan, will be that you both rot in hell forever. My situation's a little bit different than the rest because my son Peter was at Seton Hall, in Boland Hall ran around that campus all day looking for his brother. I went to sleep, and within about three hours, I was woken by an RA banging on the doors, saying, it's real, it's real, it's a fire, get out. I turned around, went back into my room to call and see if my brother had made it out, see, tell him to get out, tell him it was real, and I couldn't get an answer. A fireman came up and rescued me, and that was immediately when I started to look for John. From there, I got led, taken by a state trooper along with my father and his girlfriend to the Essex County Medical Examiner's office where I was shown a picture and I had to ID my brother. <clears throat> he was dead. So much pain was inflicted that day and death, a pain you can't recover from. We're talking three lives. 16 months for three lives is not justice. I would like to say that these murderers should know that the Ten Commandments say thou shalt not kill. I hope that they think about that every day and every night for the rest of their lives. And know that somewhere I will be out there praying to God that they are eternally banished to hell. And they will hear these words, God damn them both, God damn their families, God damn their prodigy, and anyone who assisted them to commit these hor horrific sure, acts. Sure, sure. And uh, I would like to ask the court's permission to display my son picture, Aaron Christopher Carroll. What is to be the legacy of Sean Ryan and Joseph Laporte? Since Aaron can't be here himself, I feel that I need to speak for him. Outside of a one square block area of Florham Park, I believe that they will both be labeled, not only in New Jersey, but the rest of this country as murderers. And they will carry that stigma with them forever. This ends will bring, bring closure to the criminal case, but not satisfaction. Therefore, I sentence you as follows, sir. On count two of indictment 03-6-2146, charging with third degree arson, I sentence you to the Department of Corrections for a period of five years. You are to serve 16 months before you're eligible for parole. I impose a mandatory...